Namaste everyone. In this video, we'll be taking up this particular part, part number three of the screw jack assembly that is called as the screw itself. So let's begin. We'll have to open SolidWorks, take a new part file, and ensure the units are set to MMGS. Next, go for sketch, sketch, choose front plane, and create this particular cross section. So let's go ahead and do that. I'll take line, start from this point, go straight, down a bit, straight, down a little more, come back a little, and then I need this body over here, then come to the center, join it back. So this is the rough shape we have to draw. Next, we have to give the dimensions. So we have two heights here, 13 and 83. Let's go for two heights. 13, from top to here, 83. Then there are two diameters, 22 for this small one and 65 spot. So to make diameter, first we'll have to convert this line into construction. So just click on this and when this uh, diagram appears, click on this construction geometry button. That will convert it into construction geometry. Now go for dimensions, click on this line, this construction line and click on the other side of it. If you click this side, you will get radius. This side will give us diameter. So that diameter is 22 and this diameter is 65. This diameter bottom that is 38. So let's go for 38. And then total height is 240. From here till this, okay, till this, 240. So that's it. You can see all of our diagram has turned black. So let's convert this back to a solid line and then go for features revolve. So you can see the axis has not been selected uh, automatically over here. So just click on this box, click on this line and it will create a revolved object. So now we need, just need to apply some details like these two chamfers which are 10 into 45. So click this arrow at the bottom of fillet, chamfer, select these two edges. Chamfer distance is 10 and 45, selected by default, click OK. OK. Then one more small chamfer we need to provide at the bottom over here. So let's take that of 2 mm. That should do. Next, we need to provide a hole at the top over here. So let's go for the hole wizard. Let's go back here and check out what is the hole. That is M12 depth 35. So that's a simple one, no counter boring. So a straight tap to holes. And then uh, the details we'll have to choose here the size. Okay, so uh, if you want this values in M, we'll have to first change this ANSI inch into ANSI metric. Then from here, we'll have to go for M12. We have three options in that. Let's go for the first one. And this has to be set to blind. The depth has also been given. Let's see what is the depth given. Depth of the hole is 35. 35. And the depth of the thread is just up to 30. So let's go here in the thread. This is up to 30. Then let's shift to the position. And then click here on the surface. And then click here at the origin itself. And click the stick mark. So that will ensure the hole is created over here. The next thing we have to do is to create a few more holes. These holes for are for inserting this part number seven, that is the Tommy bar. So let's create that. So we'll have to take another sketch, go for sketch, then uh, we'll have to open this and choose one of the planes, front or right. I'll go for front. 
let me place face bar and select this face to orient this properly we'll take a circle right here the diameter is 12 go for dimensions diameter 12 and then uh, height of this from the bottom is 35 so here it's coming from this end so this from this end that's 35 you can see it's still blue which means it is not constrained properly so we'll probably have to take a center line and connect it here so that will make it black so now we are what we have to do is go for feature extrude cut and uh, extrude cut let's go for through all let me just go for cut through all only on one side so that other side will not have it not yet but when we do the circular pattern for this select the direction any cylindrical surface 360 degrees number of copies 4 feature I have to select this one so you can see the four copies are being created and they are created exactly up to the center so that when you see from this end a through hole has been created from all the directions so that's for inserting the tommy bar so that's it for this video uh, you can just save this in the same folder as the screw jack and the name of this is of course the screw in the next video we'll see the other parts thank you